right, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Flip House. And we are really close to getting ready to start doing some work over here. And I'm super excited about that. I'm excited to show you guys the transformation of this property. And hopefully we're gonna be able to keep this thing within budget. And we're gonna be able to get this thing done in the timely manner that we're hoping to be able to get it done. We're getting ready to be starting electrical over here. That's getting ready to crank up like tomorrow. And we're getting ready to be knocking down walls. And that's getting ready to take place this week as well. Also getting ready to take place over here, the bathroom transformation. And today that's really what I wanna focus on with you guys. I wanna share with you guys some of my thoughts in terms of doing a bathroom remodel no expert here at all, but I do want to share some things that I've learned and maybe this will be insightful to some, helpful and useful to others. That's my hope. Also, before we get to that real quick, uh, our kitchen layout, how our kitchen is going to be coming all the way over to right here. Uh, the kitchen is definitely small and we're going to be extending the kitchen all the way out there, taking this wall down and just moving the kitchen, just one single linear kitchen i just went and ordered the dishwasher and the range and the otr the over the range and not the refrigerator didn't order the refrigerator but i got stainless steel appliances folks and because of the fact that we're dealing with the pandemic uh it's going to take all the way until the end of november for us to be able to get those appliances We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully the house will be damn near done. It should be damn near done by that point. December the 15th, finito. That's the absolute latest that we're trying to have this house wrapped up. But let's go ahead and move on to what I really wanna talk with you guys about in this video. And that is, bing, bathroom remodels. Uh, here's our bathroom right here. We got a window in our tub. There's our tub, there's our toilet very small bathroom old ancient artifact of a door with the old hardware and the wraparound mcdonald's public bathroom 12 inch by 12 inch tile uh, that's going to be going away in here and our old decrepit vanity yeah just a really really old ugly vanity we got the wood grain knobs on this sucker. Yeah, look at that. Big old mirror, ugly light. So here's our bathroom. All right, this is what I really wanna talk with you guys about, and that is a budget for a bathroom. How much does it cost to remodel a bathroom of this size? Now, obviously, anything bigger than this, your budget's definitely gonna get up there. But I think a really good number for a bathroom of this size uh, is $4,000. And if you're going to spend anything more than that, I just, I don't particularly see a need to do that. Now, of course, there could be a need to do that. If you've got flooring problems, plumbing problems, uh, needing a new tub, needing a new toilet, I mean, these things can just add up on you. I share this number with you guys, this $4,000 number with you, because, you know, I know of people who are paying upwards of ten thousand dollars to remodel a bathroom and to me that is just preposterous folks when it comes to trying to remodel homes and to flip it is all about maximizing and when i say maximizing i really mean saving as much as you possibly can and getting the work done as cheap as you possibly can this is only my second flip my first flip is literally right across the street from here and i know what people are going to say they're going to say but joe you get what you pay for if you go the absolute cheapest route you're going to end up paying for the work twice yes i completely agree with that and i'm not saying go hire joe schmo off of the corner to do your work that's not what i'm saying but definitely price and shop around construction is a cutthroat industry and there are people out there who are doing the work for the low i mean they they really are and you really want to try to get the best possible price that you can and one of your arguments should be well if you're not going to do it for that price i'll go find somebody who who will and you will find somebody to do it for that price this is a cutthroat industry like anything else 
flipping houses and it's all about trying to maximize your money and the money that you're trying to maximize is the profit that you're going to see off of this so let's go back to this bathroom four thousand dollars to do a bathroom of this size and i'm going to walk you guys through our game plan how much we've already spent and where we are in terms of four thousand dollars all right so we've got existing bullshit tile i don't know if this is real tile or if this is peel and stick it doesn't matter this is coming up this is getting replaced this tile is getting replaced and we're not gonna the new tile that we're gonna do in here is not gonna run all the way over to here like we're not doing that we're gonna stop the, the tile right at the end of the tub bang and right here as well bang there's the end of your tile that's it we don't need all of this extra stuff at all so what we're gonna be using for that tub surround tile we don't have all of it just yet but we've got some of it and it's right here this folks is going to be our subway tile design right here so we're going to do the subway tile in this bathroom and we're going to use a gray grout that's going to really make this white pop so that's going to be our tub surround backsplash tile right here. This is 59 cents a piece. A box of this has, I believe, 46 pieces and one box is $27. One box also does 9.9 .9 square feet. I think I've estimated this at 77 square feet. So we'll have eight boxes of that total. And we've only got four boxes right this second. Bear with me. I need my calculator. Okay, eight boxes times $27 a box. That's $216 for backsplash tile. Uh, so that's not a bad price at all. In backsplash tile, folks, that stuff can add up quickly. If you get the sheets, if you get some more fancy, expensive stuff, you can be spending anywhere between $400, $600, $800 just in tile. So we're at $216 thus far. Also, real quick, we needed bull nose. This is our end piece to our tire. This bull nose is gonna go just like that. This stuff is almost $2 a piece. I've gotten 22 pieces of this, and I think that that was $44. So we'll say $44. Let's go ahead and add that. plus 44 we're at $260 let's go ahead and move on to our floor tile here is something that I want to share with you guys this is going to be a major tip take it with a grain of salt but it worked for me it may not work for you it may not work in every single case I spend a lot of time on Facebook marketplace on offer up on Craigslist between those three you can shop around for materials people are always remodeling their bathrooms spending ten to fifteen thousand dollars to do so and in some cases they are left with additional materials that brings us to right cheer this octagon shaped matte porcelain tile which is really really pretty these pieces right here got a nice matte finish on them looks like they almost tried to set them or something <clears throat> how many boxes of that do I got one two three four I got five boxes of this plus some additional scraps I can't remember the square footage on this but that's gonna be our floor tile and I spent $60 on that Facebook marketplace so let's go ahead and add Bing plus $60 $320 just in tile now of course there's some other materials that we're gonna need we're gonna need backer board or whatever that concrete board is called that you do for your tile and then your backer board underneath for the floor uh, there's a multitude of different ways that you can do that 
So we're going to add up some material, some additional material cost in just a little bit. The grout, the mortar. There's additional cost. We're going to get to that. Let's go ahead and move on. Bang, the tub. We're going to keep the tub. We're probably going to reglaze the tub. So there's that. We're going to get new hardware and new faucets and thingies for the bathroom. We're gonna leave the window and we're probably gonna fog the window. This is literally like some peel and stick, boom, you can put it up there, it doesn't matter. It serves the purpose. You can no longer see inside of the window. We were gonna get rid of this, but it does add additional ventilation for your bathroom, so there's that. Maybe we put a new toilet in here, maybe not. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but of course, if you're gonna upgrade a bathroom, you gotta talk about the vanity. We've already ordered the vanity. This is a 48 inch space. If you can include this inch wide, whatever this backer is, it almost looks like acoustic ceiling right here. Oh no, it's more countertop. That is just crazy how much countertop they used. Like, it's like a whole enclosed little area. This is 48 inches right here. We went with a 36. 36 comes up to about right cheer. You're going to be left with a little bit of room for a hamper. And we're going to put some shelving right here. For this vanity with the marble top, we spent, and we had to shop around for this, but if you shop around, you can find what you need. We spent plus $4.75. Bing. $7.95 so far. All right, let's go ahead and add in the biggie, and that is the labor that it's going to cost to remodel this bathroom. And again, folks, that is where you got to do some major shopping around. We are spending $22.50 in labor for this bathroom. That brings us up to $3,045, and we have covered new tile for the floor, new tub surround, new vanity reglazing this tub is probably going to be three or four hundred dollars so let's just go ahead and say plus four hundred for the reglaze that brings us up to three thousand four hundred and forty five dollars we're going to need a mirror we're going to need lights we're going to need that hardware that we were talking about and hell we might even need a toilet you can get a toilet for like 85 to 125 dollars we're going to need another door that's going to be about a hundred and I think a door is like 150, maybe 75 bucks. I can't necessarily remember. And we're also going to need to re sheetrock these walls, but we're not going to need a whole hell of a lot of sheetrock for that. We are left with $555. I believe that's what's left plus 555 equals four thousand dollars on the money i think we can be right there on budget new electrical is going to be getting done in here as well uh this definitely is not going to be i, I hate the way that this is uh, but the, the electrical this will be not even here that's going to be over here your switches are just going to be all over here and this will just go away we will have our gfci that you need to have in your wet area so there is that the most important thing folks being that price tag right there what do you think did i miss anything i want to let you guys know that it can be done obviously depending on where you're at what part of the world you're in you know prices are going to be different hell you might be somewhere where four thousand dollars is just way too much money but then again you might be in a part of the world where four thousand dollars is not even going to get you a conversation. The fact of the matter is, folks, you have got to shop around. I wanted to show you guys how to do a $4,000 bathroom. We've talked about it. I will show you guys the completed bathroom once it's done. Our vanity we had to order, that won't even be here for two weeks. Uh, but work on this bathroom begins as early as within the next couple of days. So you guys will see this full transformation. And there was one final thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Damn it! The grout that we're gonna be using for the floor is gonna be gray as well. Damn, there was one final thing. The bathroom is only one part of the major overhaul that's gonna be taking place in this house, $4,000. I know it was something in relation to that. Oh, I guess what I was gonna say is, it can be done. It, this is what it was. This is 
I remembered now, sorry. And think about this, if you've got a house that's got two, three bathrooms, you know, you could be looking to spend, well, you're definitely not gonna be spending $4,000 a bathroom. You're gonna be trying to get those bathrooms done for like two grand. Uh, un unless you've got that master bathroom that you really wanna make that wow factor. And I wanna tell you guys, what you probably already know in relation to houses, when it comes to appraising these houses and, and you trying to make some money, you need that bathroom to be a wow factor and you need that kitchen, that kitchen right there, that kitchen right there, you need that to be a wow factor as well. Of course, you guys are gonna be seeing this thing step by step. If you guys don't know anything about me doing flips, well, you really need to check out the playlist that I'm going to include down below. It's my first flip and it went horribly wrong. Everything that you can imagine going wrong did go wrong with that, but surprisingly we were able to finish that house. It took us seven months. Sell that house. We only lost $2,000 when we went like $60,000, $80,000 over budget. So yeah. We're hopeful that this house is going to go a lot better and I'm hopeful that you guys will be excited to see how everything turns out over here. You can remodel a bathroom, do the nuts on it damn near for $4,000. I hope I was able to show you guys or at least explain to you how in this video and I hope that this is something that you guys enjoyed and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this video and letting me know exactly what you thought about our $4,000 bathroom. And as always, I'll look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. Until next time, peace!